Nathan, I'm watching and appreciating your latest video. The part about that Stones movie uh, stimulates me to want to make a reply. I think I saw that same movie, and I think it was my first IMAX experience. And it was intense. It was amazing. Uh, it was like being there. I was especially, though, stricken. They, they showed the band beforehand, and, and uh, when they got to the drummer, he looked so, so over over pumped on stimulants I could not believe it As last night uh, I watched the champions of the light who are uh, definitely white positive guys associated with James Fox Higgins and they were uh, talking about a lot of things especially the condition of our country right now might might be happening between now and January 20th and one of them brought up the movie, uh, I mean, The Stones, they looked at the Stones song, Sympathy for the Devil, and I really wanted to point you to the, their walkthrough of that song because it shows kind of another side of this whole Stones thing that was maybe part of the anti-white agenda. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but you might enjoy a bit of it to get another perspective on why The Stones uh, may be... Uh, uh, in the hands working with uh, with people who are anti-white and also that the Stones uh, writers might know something about uh, the hats. Let's let's take a weird little twist here. I'll share a video with you that has me thinking. Um, I revisited an old classic today um, from our friend Mick Jagger and his hey. buddies. They had a, uh, the, they had the, a old, the Uber Boomers. The Uber Boomers. <laughs> so these are probably not the generation that's going to save us, but were they sending us clues and hints? Were they trying to let us know something that they couldn't just come out and tell us directly? And um, let's check out this nice tune. Let me make sure I've got my sound set up. If I play it, yeah, it's going to come through right here. Here we go. I've got the lyrics up for this video too, because they're interesting. Let's take a look through. I know we all know this song, but um, let's do a little reaction video to this. What do you say? I, I don't know this song. I've never listened to the Stones. I've got to say, I know this a song of hits, is called "Sympathy for the Devil." You don't know this song? No, nah, I'm not. I don't like the Stones. I think they're shit. I think I think they're the shittest popular band ever. I, I've never understood why anyone likes the Stones. And and they're absolutely awful now that they're all like septuagenarians and like strutting about with wrinkly skin and no musical talent left because they're all so drug fucked. They should have packed them away a long time ago. Is this going to trigger you if we play it? Do you hate them that much? <laughs> no, I don't hate them. I just, no, I've never I been no a fan. I've no interest in them. <laughs> I've never been a fan of the Stones either. It was definitely yeah. for a different generation. But just this is a song that... Yeah. Look, I've been in California my whole life. I've worked in different type of situations where there's the rock station on the radio was playing in the background. I'm from the 90s kids generation. So I've heard this song a thousand times. They play it on the radio, Sympathy for the Devil, and it's literally about Satan. And he's telling us something interesting. Let's, let's listen through it. Check this out. 